Hey families, I'm Katie and I am so happy to have church with you right now. I've got a question for you. What's something impossible that you wish you could do? Would you fly <laughs> or would you turn invisible? I think I would learn to speak llama language. <laughs> that would be so fun. Now, let's learn our point. Every day, I can trust Jesus. So let's say it together on the count of three. One, two, three. Every day, I can trust Jesus. Great. <laughs> now it's time for our everyday song that talks about that. Stand up so you can sing and dance along. talking about a time when Jesus walked on water. Shortly after we see Jesus walking on water, we see Peter call out to Jesus and say, if that's you, Jesus, call me out onto the water. And Jesus does. So Peter steps out and walks on the water too. Peter has to trust in Jesus' power because there is no way he could have ever walked on water on his own. We should trust and look to Jesus in our lives as well. That's why today we're saying every day I can trust Jesus. Before we talk about that, we're gonna sing a song together. So go ahead, stand up, sing this out with us as loud as you can.
greater is, greater is he. Hey, hey, greater is, greater is he. That is in me. Greater than, no one is bigger than, no one is stronger than. Hey, no one is greater than, no one is bigger than, no one is stronger than. Come on, no one is greater than, no one is bigger than, no one is stronger than. You guys sounded so good. Thank you for singing along with us, and now we're gonna take some time to watch a Bible story together. Like I said earlier, today we're going to be looking at the story of Jesus walking on water, so let's check it out. Stories of the Bible. Peter walks on water. This is Peter. hey Peter was a fisherman who was called by Jesus. Hey. Peter saw the many miracles of Jesus. Whoa! And he heard all his teachings. Great crowds followed Jesus wherever he went. One day after Jesus had done a great miracle, he sent the disciples in a boat across the lake while he stayed and sent the people home. See ya! Hey, Jesus! After sending them home, Jesus went up into the hills by himself to pray. Meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble far away from land, for a strong wind had risen, and they were fighting heavy waves. Ah! About three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came toward them, walking on water. When the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were terrified. Ah! In their fear, they cried out, It's a ghost! Hold on there. But Jesus spoke to them at once. Don't be afraid, he said. Take courage. I am here. Hmm. Then Peter called to him, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you walking on the water. So Jesus said, yes, come. So Peter went over the side of the boat. Whoa, you're awesome. And walked on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw the strong wind in the waves, ah! Ah! he was terrified and began to sink. Peter, help me! Save me, Lord! He shouted. Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him. Jesus said, 
You have so little faith. Why did you doubt me? When they climbed back into the boat, the wind stopped. Then the disciples worshipped him and said, You really are the Son of God. The disciples were on a boat, caught in a huge storm when they saw Jesus walking on the water. What an incredible miracle! Our friend, Pastor Andrew, is going to be talking to us a little bit more about our story right now, so let's take a look. Hey everybody, I want to try an experiment with you. It's really a fun one, and in a second, I'm going to give you a chance to try it with your friends or smart group leader or parent or whoever. Here's how it's going to work. Everyone put your fingertips together like this. And then bend your middle fingers together and make your knuckles touch like this. And the entire time, imagine that your knuckles are glued together. You can't separate your middle fingers. Then one at a time, try to move your thumbs apart, your pointer fingers, your pinkies. And then last, try to move your ring fingers apart. It's super, super hard. I'm going to set a timer. Here we go. Give it a try. Yeah, that is pretty hard to do, right? Raise your hand if you could do it. Yeah, I couldn't do it. It's really fun to try, but it's really impossible. This reminds me when I was out at a summer camp a few summers ago, I saw a boy around your age throw a frisbee and it landed on the roof. I saw him and his friends immediately get upset. It was impossible for them to get it, kind of like our experiment earlier. Now, I'm a pretty tall person, so I knew that I could reach it. So I walked over and as soon as they saw me, they asked me to get it. So that's what I did. I reached up, got the frisbee, and their game was back on. Those boys would not have been able to get the frisbee for as long as they looked to themselves. But once they brought me into the picture, they got their frisbee back. Why? Because I'm just taller than they are. And this is kind of how it is with God. We might be facing something that we're not big enough or powerful enough to handle on our own. If we try to do it all by ourselves, we'll be just like the boys in the story. It won't be possible. But like the boys look to me for help, God is both able and willing to help us. Think about our Bible story today. The disciples were on a boat and there was a huge storm, a lot like this one. Peter said, Lord, if it is you, call me out on the water. So Jesus said, come. And sure enough, Peter stepped out of the boat and walked on water. Now notice what Peter did not say. He didn't say, if I can do this by my own strength, call me out on the water. Peter didn't focus on himself, he focused on Jesus, and Jesus ended up calming the storm. Sweet! Peter trusted that Jesus was more powerful than he was. Don't focus on yourself, but focus on Jesus. When a problem comes up or there's a step in front of you that seems scary, don't look to yourself. Look to Jesus. Trust Jesus, because here's the truth. God's strength is made perfect in your weakness. His grace is enough for you. In his perfect love, there's no room for fear. Even if you feel alone, he's with you, and he has prepared good works for you to do. But you can't do those good works on your own, and that's okay. Because Jesus doesn't need you to be perfect. He needs you to be willing. And when God calls us to follow him, there will be times where we feel like we aren't enough, but that's okay, because Jesus is enough. He's good, he's powerful, and he loves you. Trust in him every day as you follow him. It's easy for us to focus on what we can or cannot do when problems come up or when there's a step in front of us that we need to take. I would encourage you to talk with your parent or small group leader about that. And remember, every day we can trust Jesus. So that's it for this week, and thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Don't go yet. We've got a Bible verse to learn. I'll say it first. Isaiah 41, 13. The Lord your God says to you, do not fear, I will help you. <laughs> now I'll say little parts and you can repeat them after me. Are you ready? Okay, Isaiah 41, 13. The Lord your God says to you, do not fear, I will help you. <laughs> Great job. When something's too big for you to do on your own, God is with you. Don't be afraid, he will help you. I had a great time having church with you. 
I'm gonna leave you with some questions to talk about with your family. When they pop up on the screen, just pause the video and have a little chat. See you later.